last week uh, not playing. It was you know uh, rough not being out there, but uh, like today the was um, it was good. I think um, myself. Uh, I just try to play with it myself. I wasn't trying to force anything. I think it was a a good day, but uh, definitely get better. Was this kind of under fire? You were under duress. Coach said, you know, mm-hmm. pass pro was a thing that we got to get better at. Right, and uh, that's a part of it. And uh, I could do a better job uh, to helping those guys out. I mean, they're not going to be perfect every time, and I can help out moving in the pocket and uh, getting the ball out quicker. So, I mean, that's something I could definitely work on. Uh, so I'm not going to blame it all on them. I, I could get better as well. JT, it's the first time we got to talk to you since the situation you went through. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you have any comments about that? I mean, just to clear things up with Ohio State fans, et cetera, and then move on? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, what I've said about that is just um, truly sorry for my actions. Um, I know that um, the main thing about it was I wasn't thinking really um, about my position here at Ohio State, but uh the con consequences uh, that's going to be a long-term thing that I'm going to deal with uh, but I'm moving forward I, like I said extremely apologize to Buckeye Nation and uh, never want to hurt Ohio State and what it's done for me as a person and then also as a player uh, and this university is too great and uh, it was just a selfish acting that's it. And the second question did you get the upper half of your body into the end zone on that second half snake? <laughs> um, yeah I thought I did but uh, you know I mean, I'm not in the booth, and that's the referees. That's their job. Maybe they got better eyes than I do, but I thought I was across the line being that I was right there, but yeah. it's all good. Talk about the fourth yeah. down play, just uh, fourth and 11, and, and what you're seeing there, nobody's open, scrambled, the whole left side was wide open. What you see? Uh, yeah, um, I felt like, you know, they draw back in uh, coverage. They brought four-man rush, and with that, um, they like to twist the D-line up front, and I felt like that's what they did. And then I just got a little open to my left, and um, – I was just looking downfield. I was trying to hit somebody downfield, definitely pass first, and then I remember it was fourth down, so make sure you get the first down and get out of bounds, being that it was two minutes. But, uh, no, nah, it was just good play. Over to the right, Adam. JT, where do you think the team is entering this stretch that everyone looked at before the year with Michigan State coming up all by what, what happens after that? Say it again. What, what where do you, you think say? the team is entering this, this stretch of the season? Um, I'm, honestly, I feel like we're at a good place. We're 10-0 in the Big Ten. Um, no one top teams in the country. Uh, I mean, not a lot of people say they're 10 and 0. So with that, I feel like we're at a good place. And, uh, and the greatest thing about it, you don't have to be your best right now. That's the greatest thing about it. You don't have to be your best when you, you know, you got two games left in the season. You want to be your best when it's end of the year and uh, at that time. So with that, I feel like uh, we're at a good spot and uh, just progressing, keep on getting better. And I think that's the main thing we focus on. Are you close to being your best in your mind? Mm-hmm. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think you know we always as Ohio State we were very uh, critical on ourselves, and I think um, I think we have some stuff we get better uh, on both sides of the ball. Uh, I think I think we get not a lot better, but I think we definitely get better. So we're not. I wouldn't say we're close, really. A couple more questions, Kevin. JT, how uh, important is it to have a guy like Ezekiel that you can always just count on to get five yards when you need it for the offense when you guys are struggling a little bit like you were today? Boy, Zeke is something else, ain't he? Um, I mean, like you said, it's just, I mean, run plays, a positive run play is four yards. So when he's popping out six, eight, nine yards on, you know, first, second down, that's what you love in the running back. And he also, when I scored on, you see the block he threw, you know, he just throws himself out there um, willing to do anything for the team, and that's just a great thing about him. And um, so with that, I mean, we're definitely appreciative of Ezekiel Elliott for sure. Last couple questions, Doug. JT, if the pass game plays like it did today in protection, receivers, mm-hmm. and you, is that good enough to beat Michigan State, or do you have to be better? No, we have to be better. We know Michigan State, uh, we're one of the top teams in our conference as well, so we definitely have to be better. And uh, like I said, that's the great thing about it. We got a week to practice, and I mean, we're not, we didn't play them today. And so with that, uh, we got time to prepare and, you know, game plan and things like that. So uh, we'll be better when it comes Saturday to play. And do you Bill. think you might be suspended for more than one game? Um, I, just, I just don't, I don't really know how to answer that. Bill? Were you surprised that the decision was made to go for on fourth and 11 and take that as a, you know, evidence of trust and support and all that? Um, no, I really wasn't surprised. I, I, honestly, if it's fourth and like less than five, I think we're always going for it. Doesn't matter really. I mean, we have to be pretty backed up. But uh, other than that, I think we're outside like the 30, uh, you know, going in. I think that's 
we're always going for it on fourth down. But uh, not really I'm surprised. I know we needed to score right there. Uh, or we needed some points. Not really just a touchdown, but we need some points. And I think uh, that's who we are, we're an aggressive football team. And we have trust in our guys to go out there and make plays. And we just did that. They Last took the, question. They took the touchdown away, and then you threw the ball to Michael. How good did that feel to complete that uh, touchdown toss to Michael? First uh, touchdown? Oh, yeah, that was definitely good. Uh, Mike, great receiver, definitely uh, does a great job playing uh, one-on-one. He gets one-on-one coverage. He, he wins, and that's what you need in the X. And uh, he just did a great job getting open. I was trying to give him the ball.